Next up, we're going to take a look at On the Road with Charles Gestalt. It's been over 20 years since Charles Gestalt began crisscrossing the back roads and bayous of this country, sending home video postcards to the TV viewers. He's made a career of showing us the unique and offbeat sides of America. Through his eyes and with his poet's gift for description, we discover the infinite diversity of the American people. Mm, well said. Thanks. I got it out of his press packet. Oh. Let's go on the road with Charles Gestalt. Along State Route 62, halfway between Moose Ridge, Wisconsin, and the Minnesota State Line, we saw an old sign by the side of the road. It said Heidi's Cheese House and Mini Mall, one mile. It wasn't a big sign, as signs go, but as Cyrus Heidi will tell you, it's not the size that matters. It's the number of varieties. What the hell? We make over a thousand different kinds of cheese. A thousand? Mm-hmm. I should tell you now, only about 200 are actually edible. Well, what do you do with all the cheese that you can't eat? Well, Grandma Heine over here makes dolls and hats and things, and we sell them. <laughs> Hi! I'm making dolls and hats! To get back to the over 200 varieties of cheese that you can eat, I was looking around before, and I have to admit that you have some cheese flavors here that I never would have imagined. Well, that's because you're not a Heine. <laughs> like this. It has holes in it, so it seems to be a Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. Swiss chocolate. I've always wondered, how do you get the holes in the Swiss cheese? Well, just as the cheese is about to set up, Grandma sticks her head in the vat and belches. And what about this cheese? That's rabbit cheese. You mean you actually make cheese from rabbit. Oh, lordy, no, 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 just the milk. It's one of the hardest kinds to make. Here, have another one. Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. If you're traveling down Route 62, you might want to stop in at Heine's Cheese House in Mini Ball. You'll be greeted by a friendly smile and a selection of cheeses you never would have imagined. Don't be surprised if when you leave, you're wearing one of Grandma Heidi's famous cheese hats. We're doing a TV show! Moron! Matter of fact, I do own the road. I'll never eat Swiss cheese again. I want a cheese hat! I want a cheese hat! You are weird. Thank you. Now here are Dan's and my recommendations for the show as we looked at this week. Dan says, don't watch Empty House unless you're looking for an empty experience. I say watch it, because I hate that picture they show of me when I say don't watch something. We both say watch Buffalo Gals in syndication if you missed it in the 60s. We split on Highway to Hell. Dan really liked it, and I didn't, but I'm saying watch it because I hate that picture they show of me when I say don't watch something. I didn't like On the Road with Charles Gestalt, but Kevin wants a cheese hat and says watch it because he doesn't like that picture they show of him when he says, don't watch. Well, that's it for this week on the television, but join us next time when we'll be reviewing the new sexy show about lifeguards called Babe Watch. Robert Yurick's back with a new show and a new attitude in Spencer, Not For Hire. The late night cartoon show called Reform School Squirrels. And He's My Alibi, a movie of the week about Siamese twins accused of murder. <laughs> Until then, I'm Dan Clark. And even after then, I'm Kevin Rush, and we'll see you next time on, on the, the television. television.